some point, you gotta decide for yourself who you gonna be. Can't let nobody make that decision for you. What really attracted me to this part was uh, having an opportunity to step into someone's shoes who is not only a father figure uh, for, for a young boy, young man, but is a mentor to Chiron, uh, who is, is a young man struggling to come to terms with, a, with his identity, perhaps. But it's complicated and, and very gray in that he also plays a drug dealer, and Chiron's mother has some very crippling drug issues. You all tell him why the other boys kick his ass all the time. She has a drug addiction, but she's trying to hold it down. But then in the second stage, we see her, and she's completely lost herself to drugs. You're my only. I'm your only. Chiron is really not given the love that he deserves and needs at the start of his life and certainly not the kind of love that makes it feel safe for him to come out with his true identity and to explore his sexuality. Are you looking at me like that, bro? What, man? Come on, you just drove down here? Yeah. I felt a responsibility to get the character right. It was really just about, you know, very accurately and organically, you know, capturing the world that we grew up in, you know, and the phases we had to go through to become men. Who is you, Sharon? felt it was a privilege to kind of show that we are multifaceted people and show that you can be, you know, a hulking physical person but also have a vulnerable side. And also Barry put, and Terrell, the other writer, put so much of their own sort of personal biographies into this that I think the responsibility that I felt was to make sure that we got their family stories right. Who is you, man? He's a director that really tries to explore silence, but it also shows his his confidence in his ability to tell a story without having to always lean on the written word. No, 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 you gonna listen. To who, Ma? Huh? To you? I hope that it breaks down people's preconceived ideas about so many stereotypes that we hold in our, our mind, about what it means to be black, about you know masculinity in general, about addiction in general, and I hope that they just realize that we're united by this universal search for love. I ain't seen you in like a decade. It's not what I expected. What did you expect?